Hiya! Welcome! And right now I'm about to show you all the best kept secrets that I have on how to get the kids to clean their desk and how to organize everything and how to just keep 30 kids actually have nice desks. No roaches, no none of it. And organized binders. Whoa. Like, here we go. Okay? Please like and subscribe this video. And this is like the third time I've done this, so throughout the day, because people kept walking in, so I will have waited till everybody in the whole school left. And even though it's spring break time, I'm still here for you, so let's get this one rolled out. First of all, um, I've got three different binders here that they have in their desks. Um, one is a morning work binder, one is a stations binder, and one is a daily review binder. This is not one. So I may not do the stations binder next year because I had other plans for it at the beginning of the year and things have switched up. So pardon me as I slide you to the side and make sure my name is not on stuff as we go. Here I had the tabs due Friday. I had choice board. Um, I had be kind and literacy jobs. Okay. Now. With this, I can't be flipping through because my name is on that pink paper you see there, but it is, like you can see, a choice board and stuff. Um, do Friday is where my kids put all their stations. We're starting new stations next week. These always get turned in on Friday, hence the name. I think next year I'm going to keep this in our um, daily review binder, um, this tab, and I might just call it stations. So that will be an update. Math data is really nice to have. Um, because here is where the kids keep their Christina Nini one from the, over there you can see the stations area. Um, so they go ahead and pick out their coordinate graphing for the time. Um, here we have all of our standards. I just, I don't know where I got this from, but that's what it says. Internets, there you go. Um, so we color it in as we go and we fill them in and we kind of write off to the side what each of them do. The other piece I used to find important was this literature job piece because, um, okay, Mr. Reed on TPT has awesome like packets for different books. So at the beginning of the year we read Fantastic Mr. Fox as one of the stations and um, they would read like chapter bits, just too noisy to actually absorb too much. And then to answer those high level questions, it's a bit harder. What our grade decided to do is walk to read. And I've had lots of questions on this. So here you go. Walk to read is where the whole grade takes all their kids, levels them out, assigns these four classrooms. Okay, your lexile levels, these, these ones, these ones, these ones. And within my class, like right now, I'm doing like levels 700 and 600. So I've got a bunch of kids reading Tuck Everlasting, a bunch of kids reading Wrinkle in Time. So with that, I assign certain chapters. This week you're gonna be reading these ones, and it's according to the questions that are within the Mr. Read packet. So you pay like ten dollars for, or even dollars for that packet, and you're good. Um, so I would recommend doing Walk to Read with your grade level. We also chose to do it during a certain time because the paraprofessionals are available, and we have them work with a couple really intensive kids so that works out way well, you can have all the phonics kids from the whole grade level work together and we do it monday tuesday wednesday friday for a half hour at the end of the day and then the kids are dismissed from those rooms so hopefully that helps you but we used to do literature jobs in our classrooms and i was like mm, walk to read is fulfilling my need for that they're getting a half hour of that every day done okay so that was stations binder now, I'm not going to do that one next year, like I said. I'm just going to keep math, math data um, and, uh, yeah. So, here's daily review. And I would recommend you have, like, the kids put a coloring sheet in here at the beginning of the year when you welcome them in. And that way they can kind of just make this binder their own. So, we have math bell work, reading bell work, writing bell work. Next year, I'm gonna have those three plus a cursive, um, because we do a cursive joke book back here as well, which is, it's from this TPT, so thank a teacher, cursive joke books, it's funny, K. 
okay? Makes them laugh, and I'd recommend having them do one of those a week. If you want to do two a week, then you can buy the joke book number two as well, which is what we did. Um, so I would do math bell work, reading bell work, writing bell work, cursive bell work. Then this is where I would put that math data tab and that stations tab. So I'm going to do six tabs in here next year. Um, I would recommend that you guys date everything. Okay, this is spiral, you know, the spiral stuff. <laughs> Hello, spring break. So here's another book. And then we mix that in with um, like those kind of ones, more spiral review. So a lot of Carson DeLosa um, bell work. And for typical writing bell work, I would recommend um, this one. Who is this from? Hmm. Not seeing a name, but if you remind me later, I will put it in there. Anyways. You can look up quick grammar editing. Cool, so that's daily review. We recommend six tabs for that one. So I'm, I'm narrowing it down to just two binders next year. Morning work is beautiful. This impresses, um, like it impressed my like vice principal when they came in, I was like, okay, you need to take out such and such paper and the whole class, whoosh, they knew exactly where it was in their binder. Every two weeks, we organize all these. We just take the time for like, I don't know, 20 minutes and we go through section by section we make sure our little pencil pouch which yes I did buy pencil pouches for all my kids yes it did cost $30 because I did it at Walmart at the beginning like with um, those pencil pouches that you can get for the welcome back to school kind of sales um, but it's nice to have a zipper I've done Ziploc plastic bags before you hear the sound it's everywhere and then holes get poked through Ziploc plastic bags pencil pouch is a dollar just buy it <laughs> Okay, I buy these kind and I use the same ones to um, organize, like, cover up kids' names, but organize, you know, nurse passes and stuff like that. So, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Morning work binder. So, morning work binder definitely has names in here of mine and other things. Here's my tabs. Math, reading, grammar, writing, science. Okay, we don't really have social studies in particular at my school. We mix it into our reading. So, ooh, okay, I love the number diva uh, on TPT. So you can see here like order of operations. I like um, using random anchor charts that I put together from like just things copied from Google. It lets us just review it. Later on, we can create anchor charts um, based off of like the information that we go over. You know, like here's area, perimeter, volume, surface area, all on one page instead of like having four pages in there. So throughout the year, you just decide to kind of compile some stuff. Um, if you like an anchor chart, stop making it yourself and having the kids copy. Just put it in. <laughs> like, Saves time, okay? So I would recommend this plot map stuff from TPT, it's free. You do type in Pixar plot map. Oh my gosh, so helpful. Um, I use a lot of flow cab. Uh, you reading worksheet stuff, I took that and I copied it and I took little pieces and I just made my own anchor charts here for chronological order. Um, just, I don't try to make things too complicated. Every once in a while I update, so we used to have a different inference paper. Here I took Rachel Annette's um, uh, inference paper and my kids, we did this side together, the other side they did on their own. Bam, now you have notes. Okay, for grammar, I'm gonna do another video on this stuff, huge bonus. We do color coding of grammar, okay. Um, then I've got writing here. Um, we've got science, so I hope that helps. Everything is super organized. I would just do a work binder and a belt and a like daily review binder. So that way, 
you and your kids can keep everything clean. You have the time every two weeks to organize and I hope that helps you. I would recommend you organize on a Friday, so that way when you come back on Monday, everything's all clean. You always organize before break, not when you come back, because you want to start off on a clean slate, and you want to let them know that that's the expectation in life. Um, then on those days, you can dismiss by looking in their desks, and they'll be like, ooh, and it'll help reinforce everybody's desks are clean and neat. Hope this works for you, friends. Bye. Please like and subscribe this video.